Mr. Blue Fuss's story, he probably would start laughing because Mr. Blue Fuss is my pansexual friend and he doesn't mind getting hit on left or right by anyone. He doesn't really care. So earlier, I thought I could let it fart out because I got annoyed by that one lady smell because that would cover up her damn fucking smell. Huh. So it was ridiculous how she had a bad odor on her so my throat started acting up. So I was jumping, jumping all around, acting crazy at a doctor's office because she was driving me fucking out of my mind. Well, I was acting like a weirdo. I guess a lot of people are walking around with their pajamas on. So I noticed a few people at the dentist's office had pajamas on. One guy was like probably about 22 years old. He, there was a couple guys sitting around. They had their pajamas on and they were just texting away on their cell phones. It was pretty annoying. It's not like their phone is gonna start talking to them. It's not gonna grow ears and hear whatever. So Mr. Blue Fuzz would get turned on if he saw all that. I kept getting stared down and this old lady couldn't read so she kept staring at me like I was a newspaper. She kept staring at me like I was gonna talk to her. I'm not laid back because I'm not Josh. Josh doesn't fucking think. I'm more like the type of person where I can write about anything and it's not hard to do, but this is ridiculous. I was stared down and then I asked this guy, how long were you waiting around for? He said, I was waiting around until, I, I was waiting around since 2 p.m. I imitated him really well. I kept thinking, this is ridiculous. They set most appointments up all on the, around the same time. It's pretty annoying. So, um, with, when I'm with Josh, it's pretty hot because when he goes, mm, uh, 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 I start thinking dirty thoughts. So then my mind starts racing while I'm cooking and I feel like I'm gonna burn the whole place down. When Josh is watching the game, I'm sitting there nonstop watching him. I love cooking for Josh and I love calling him baby. And he knew I was in love with him when I kept walking into this place years ago and I kept doing laundry. So going back to the kitchen situation, I love cooking. I have this thing for him. So I thought I could cook chicken for him again. He choked purposely during halftime to get some action. Some people cannot read, so they just stare at everything. I believe at the dentist's office, this lady kept staring at me because she thought I was a newspaper. I was going to tell this lady, please stop staring at me. I'm not a celebrity. I can't help it. Wherever I go, I get stared down. And I don't need a push-up bra or skirt to get everyone's attention. Now that I have a big chest, who wouldn't stare at me? Most want my fucking ass. While Josh was asleep, I purposely texted him and said, of course, most want my ass. Mr. Bluefuss is just my friend. I knew Mr. Bluefuss for so long and I really care for him. what? I care for him as a friend. I cannot get involved with him. Josh and I take pictures nonstop the other day and we totally looked hot. And he told me, don't, please do not post anything on social media. So we stood by the mirror and I thought that was hot. I said, look Josh, let's stand there by the fucking mirror. Cause I love mirrors and I love standing around mirrors. And I said, Josh, look how hot we look together. So we started taking selfie pictures, nonstop. And he's so obsessed over crapping the fucking pictures up. We totally look hot together. We stood right by the mirror. And I said, Josh, look how hot we look together. Why do they call it social media if no one's really socializing? He's right. Purposely, I thought I could call everyone on social media to see if they're going to answer back. But there's zombies. <laughs> <laughs>